welcome back to the Griffin Loft and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of a, a, a board game. I haven't played it yet so it will only be an unboxing and a review based on what we have in the box and so forth and so on. And uh, in the near future I will be doing a run of gaming videos where all of these videos that I've reviewed of games that have only been reviews we will do gameplay videos for them all. Uh, and then I'll, I'll link them all together in, in, in a folder for each different one. But for on our chart for today, we're going to be doing uh, Klaus Tauber's North Winds by Z-Men Games, which is, if you're not aware, the same people who make Settlers of Catan. And I'm sure everybody knows all about that game because it's been around forever and ever and a day. The game is two to four players. It is aged 10 years and up. It runs about 60 minutes time. And you can see there's the artwork. There's a bit of the, what the game looks like on the back. I will read you the little blurb on the back so you guys can get a basic idea of what the game is. It's called uh, Northwind, a maritime game for the family. Pirates are raiding the nearby cities that are part of the trade alliance. The battered harbor towns call on your help. The captains of the Alliance, your task will be numerous and some more dangerous than others. From supplying the towns with various goods to survive encounters with deadly pirates, your ship will be your life. In this exciting game, for two to four players, you will arm and crew your ship with cannons, sails, gunners, and much more to return calm and prosperity to the Trade Alliance. Let the Northwind carry your ship to victory. The game was manufactured in 2004 in... in the English version was done in Quebec actually and it comes with four large 3D ships one task board 24 sea tiles 16 cannons 8 commercial letters 42 gold coins 64 wooden pieces 40 task cubes one event die one battle die and one rule book. So let's get into it. So the rule book. Does it look like it's very big actually? It's six pages on a fold out. So that's the entire rule book including how to build the ships. So not a lot, it doesn't take a lot. I remember it actually read pretty quick and easy and it sounded pretty simple when I did read it before. So you can see the C tiles, the, the letters of Trade Alliance, none of this has been popped out yet. Um, more letters of Trade Alliance and then the uh, some gold coins. Um, the task board which was mentioned and more gold coins and then the parts to build the ships you can see there's part of the ship there's a part of the ship with more gold coins don't fall out no I don't want anything to pop out until I'm ready to pop it all out but this game actually oh, and then you can see there's the four colors blue uh, yellow white and red and they all have different designs. There's a dragon, there's a, a winged horse, there's a lion, and then there's a serpentine dragon. Uh, you can see the cannons here. Uh, they all, Lady Wind, North Wind, they all have different names. I'm just starting to realize the ships are all named as well. Um, oh, that one is the Albatross and this is the last one here and it is called storm singer so there you go four ships four names and then you've got your combat dice i'm guessing and your event dice you got a bunch of little pitons little metal block a little wooden blocks for putting your stuff in and then you have the meeples and there are various different ones representing crew, pirates, uh, food, fish, so cargo, 
so forth, so on. And then the one beautiful thing is generally when you buy a piton game, a game with a lot of cardboard punch outs and stuff like that, there's nowhere to put them. This game is actually designed where the four ships when they are built will fit in here. So you don't have to take them apart. And then all the little bits and pieces fit in there in all the trays. And then that fits snugly back into the base of the box. Wow, it fits snugly back into the base of the box. I wasn't kidding about that. And then everything fits in there nice and nice and comfortably. And then again, like I said, see there's the there's the lady wind and you got some cannons and you got the lower and upper deck. So that would be the the bottom of the ship there. And that would be the main deck, and this is the north wind. And this one is just masts. You can see how they fold up, and the sails would go on them, and that would tell you what turn or move phase you're in or something. Uh, as I said, I haven't read the rules again in a while. And that's the albatross. You can see right there with some more cannons and stuff. And then you got Storm Singer and then all of the other miscellaneous goods so let me see what we can uh, so basically the game is about completing uh, quests uh, to fill up your taskbar to complete your turn um, and then crew and so forth and so on it talks about all of the different stuff um, yeah so Northwind it's a bit of an older game um, like I said we will be getting around to playing it in the not too distant future but I did pick it up from Board Game Bliss which is a, uh, a new and used um, gaming store uh, and they sell cards, board games, dice, hobby supplies. They sell a bit of Warhammer. They sell a round range of stuff from a, um, a from a gaming perspective. And I believe I picked this up in their second hand for under ten dollars. But yeah, so and as you see, like I was telling you, there's the ships. They are actually assembled with the sails, and then you have like your crew and your different. Thing, cargo that they're they're tracking and then your sea tiles with your with your uh, what's that called event uh, event what's that called task board there it is uh, made by Zeman games again it's made in Germany uh, the English version of the game was translated in Quebec uh -huh. and other than that Based on whatever I can remember from reading it and that, it's going to be a very interesting game and I look forward to playing it with the little ones. Part of the reason I also didn't play it was the age rating and now that uh, the two of the older little ones the, the, of the monster crew are getting basically close to that age or are that age, I think it might be time for them to give it a try. But other than that guys, that's all I'm going to do for this one today. Thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please feel free to hit the uh, subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know more about my channel, such as when videos are going to be uploaded and so forth, feel free to hit the bell icon. Other than that, guys, have a good one. Be safe. And don't let the zombies get you. Bye for now.